All right, so here we go for my fourth Muay Thai sparring session. So I began with this guy who's uh, obviously a beginner. He was very tensed. He couldn't really relax. And um, his kicks were very sloppy. You can see that he keeps, he keeps kicking in an upward direction and he doesn't pivot on uh, on his foot he's completely open lunges forward so I was just being really cool with him trying to make him work without putting too much pressure and I was trying to build the trust so he knew that he could trust me and I wasn't gonna try to hurt him or be sneaky or <laughs> bit of Thai walk I'm a bit frustrated with this video because uh, I, I've had to delete quite a lot of the footages because um, a lot of time the image was out of focus and also there is this problem that when we move around we found ourselves off camera very often. That was a nice high kick. I've been working on this thing about moving from side to side while landing strikes instead of striking from the center trying to move off the center but still uh, striking from the center if that makes any sense it's like my hands remain in the center so the the trajectory of the strike is still sort of centered but my head is off the center line He tried to clinch a bit. That was funny because he's a he's a big guy. He's bigger than me, but in his clinch, I could feel that uh, he wasn't very strong in the clinch. All right. So here I'm with my friend Remy. Uh, we've been sparring a bit together, so this I think this is like the third third time that we spar, and uh, it's good to spar with the same person because you you build a relationship, you get to know each other, and so you can be, a, you can see here the intensity is like way higher than with the previous guy, and it's even higher than in the previous sparrings because we kind of know each other and the good thing also is that it forces us to make progress because now he knows quite a, a few of my tricks and he's prepared for it like this one that I just did which is a switch that sort of uh, is like a fake for a switch kick because when you switch um, you expect a left kick so what I do is I, I do a switch and then go back to a, to a right kick a bit of clinch work so I've been trying to and a knee I've been trying to add the, the clinch to my game because coming from a kickboxing background I, I still find that my, my style resembles kickboxing very much and it doesn't really look like Muay Thai. It's getting there. I mean, I've been catching kicks a bit more and using the clinch. That side kick, that's definitely a good weapon. I mean, I've been landing that kick consistently. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> The intensity of the strikes is a little bit higher than previous times. He 
Yeah, as I was saying, I've been trying to use the the clinch and use all the different tools that Muay Thai offers. I still gotta work on the elbows, but uh, I'm waiting for my elbow pads to come by mail. I got me some uh, Yokao Thai uh, uh, not Thai pads, Yokao elbow pads, Thai walk, as I call it. He landed like three kicks in a row there. I've also realized that I've got my eyes off the target very often and as soon as I start looking at the target more I'm uh, I increase my uh, my ratio of successful strikes. And I often say that uh, you, you should try to to spar and, and fight looking in the eyes of your partner and I find that I don't really do it myself but as soon as I start doing it and looking a bit more at my targets I, I hit my targets more which seems kind of <laughs> logical but <laughs> been using some kind of shuffle That was nice what he did just there, like stepped and and then body kick. That's another thing that I, I do quite well, I think, that is when I miss a kick, just keep spinning and then throw a, uh, a either a spinning hook kick or a, uh, a spinning side kick or something like that. That's what I was talking about, trying to to zigzag and move from one side to the other and land strike at the same time. Side kick landing once again. You can see I'm trying to catch kicks, not always successful, but the intention is there. He got surprised by the axe kick. I don't know how to use it really. I'm not sure what to do with the axe kick. I find it's a very, it's a bit tricky to use because if it lands, it can really hurt. I mean, it's it's gonna land on the, on the nose, on the forehead with the heel. It got me in the nuts. And um, that was a nice side kick again. And so I'm not really sure what to do with the axe kick. If I should use it to kind of pull down the guard, like hit the gloves with it. Uh, try to land it maybe on the shoulder so it's not gonna be so painful because if I use it slowly then it gets it gets caught quite easily and you're in a very very vulnerable situation if your axe kick, axe kick gets caught it's very easy to to sweep you <laughs> triple jab So the funny thing was between each round we were like, okay, let let's go easy now, let's go easy because we are we are burning our, ourselves out. And we felt really really uh, out of breath and uh, exhausted at the end of the the round, and we start easy, but then gradually there's there's no helping it. The intensity just keeps rising, rising. Um, I talked about it with him and we, we both find that managing the aggression or the, the level of, of aggression that you have in sparring is it's a really tricky thing. I mean the coach is really good about this and every session he reminds us that we must be respectful 
we must be benevolent, we must talk, and he's right. But in the heat of the action, sometimes, uh, you know. But I totally agree with that. I mean, I almost, uh, I was going to make a video about that too, that uh, it's very important to talk during sparring and not, not let um, a situation um, escalate. Because that could happen. You get hit a bit too hard, you want to respond, so you get you hit a bit harder and very quickly things get out of control. So you have to be egoless, I would say, and smart about it and and maybe take a breather, walk a few a few steps and then get back to it. That was a nice kick. The thing is, some of my strikes, I can't really... That's the problem with the kicks. If they are very snappy, they can really hurt. And, yeah, and if they are not, they get caught easily. So It's still a bit difficult to find the, the right balance between kicking fast enough so that it's realistic but not so hard that, that you're gonna hurt your partner. Because if uh, a hook kick to the face lands, I mean, that can really hurt. Maybe landing it with the sole of the foot might, might be a bit better, a bit less painful. We've been trying to catch kicks. I'm glad that I've gotten a bit better at catching kicks. At least I think about it and I, I try to do it instead of completely neglecting that aspect of the of Muay Thai totally. Those are good exchanges. It's a shame it's a bit far away from the camera. Sometimes there's a bit more hesitation because we, we kind of know each other a bit more now. He tries to land that big cross very often and uh, he actually landed that cross quite a few times and every time I was like, I see it coming and yet don't know what to do about it but then just watching this video I realized that his idle hand that is the, the hand that's not striking here there you see it's always really down so I'm, I think I'm gonna get him with a, a real uppercut that is I'm gonna wait for that big cross and when he when he throws it I'm gonna counter him with an uppercut and maybe follow up with a uh, a hook, low kick, or something like this. So on that day, I, I sparred only with him, actually. Yeah. I didn't spar anybody else. I was having way too much fun with him, so... I think we are also kind of a, a right match for each other. We kind of push each other, make each other progress. Okay, I think that's the end of the video. We went for a little bit of uh, English boxing. Which I don't really like, because uh, uh, I like kicking way more than I like punching, but...
he wanted to have a little bit of English boxing, he likes it. And because the rest of the time it's always my ideas, I thought, okay, let's do this. There were other things that we did on that day. Um, I did not put it in the video, but we did work on some specific strikes also. And uh, we did a bit of work without the gloves on, like some clinch work. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you around. Take care. Boss.